Okay, we're on uh, Kilayim, Perek Vav, Mishnah Aleph. Mishnah Aleph, Perek Vav, Vav, Kilayim. Okay, what, so the Mishnah is going to talk about something called an Aris. An Aris. So what is an Aris? So uh, just an, um, we, if we understand what an Aris is, an Aris, I'm looking at Wiki Yeshiva, it says, Shurat Gifanim Amudalot Al Gabe Amudim, O Al Gabe Gader. It's a row of vines that are hanging on a, on a, on a, on a bunch of pillars or on a, on a gadir, on a uh, wall, or, you know, on a fence. So just a look over here, I found you a picture. This is actually a beautiful picture of what I think uh, an aris would be. Let's pull this out so you can see it over here. Okay, you can see over here, like the vines are growing and they're basically designed to hang next to a wall. So that's something similar to what I would consider an aris to be. So the Mishnah says, we've learned it till now, that in order for something to be considered a kerim, it has to have two rows. That's the halakha. But even Beit Shammai agrees that in something called an ari, in this aris, in this hanging bind scenario, you have to have a halakha, you have to assess and distance yourself for amo. So the Mishnah says, what is an aris? Ezahu aris. Anotea shura shel chamesh kifanim. If you plant a row of five vines, Bitsan agader, next to agader, next to a fence, shugavoa asarat fachim. That's ten fachim high. Oh, bitsan charitz, or next to a ditch, shu amok asarat fachim v'rachav arba. Or next to a dish that's ten fachim deep and four fachim wide. So meaning you have a, you have your, 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 your vines. Where am I hearing? You have your vines and it's next to a fence. Okay, there's something in between. Okay, and so therefore the question is, so therefore the Mishnah says, in this case though, notim lo avodato arba amot. You have to give it a distance of four amot. Beit Sham, so the question is, what is the four amot from? Beit Sham, I don't mean modidim lo arba amot mikar hagfanim lasadeh. You measure four amot from the ikar, from the base of the kfanim, of the vines, to the field. I want to plant something else. I've got this row next to my fence, and then I want to plant, and then I want to plant a field. Ubeit Hillel omim min agader lasadeh. So Beit Shammai says from the ikar kfanim, and Beit Hillel says from the fence. Now, of course, there's only one small problem with all of this. Let me see if I can get back to my microphone. Here we go. The problem we have here is, what in the world, what exactly are we discussing? Okay. Are we discussing a case where I want to plant on the fence side? Or are we discussing where I want to plant on the other side of the fence? So here I have my four amud measurement. Okay, so according to the Ra'avad, Rav Avram ben David, and once I mention the Ra'avad, you know we're going to get to the Rambam. According to the Ra'avad, it's talking about I want to plant on the, on the side, on this side of the fence, on the side of the vines, on the vine side. So the vines are going to be hanging over here on the fence. Here's my fence, okay? Beit Shammai says, so I have four amot. Here are my gefanim, so I have four amot, so I'm distancing. So I can only start planting over here. Beit Yilas says, no, you measure four amot from the ikar, from the fence itself. Okay, so according to the Ra'avad, Beit Shammai are machmir. On the other hand, if we go down, the Rambam says entirely differently. The Rambam says the point of this din, of this law, is because the these vines are going to be hanging on the fence. That's the whole idea of an aris. Remember, you're, you know, you're planting here and they're going to be hanging all over the fence. So everyone agrees, according to the Rambam. Yeah, you, you, you get where I'm going here. Oops. Everyone agrees, according to the Rambam. So these vines, you're going to have vines on the fence hanging all over the place. So everyone agrees that on the side of the gader, according to everyone, ledat kulam, not kulami, okay, everyone agrees, modidim yikar gfanim, you have to have four amot from the gfanim. But the Rambam says that the Machlogit Beit Shammai and Beit Hillel is from when I, if I want to plant on this side of the fence. The fence, in this case, because of the Aris, the fence is not considered a sufficient barrier because the vines are growing on the barrier. So therefore, Beit Shammai says, somewhat surprisingly, you just judge for Amot from the Ikar Gfanim, from the, from the Gfanim on this side of the fence. It's not a barrier. So since it's not a barrier, you have to have four Amot. Beit Hillel says, wrong. You have, to, you have to measure four amot from the fence itself. According to the Rambam, Beit Hillel are machmir, they're more stringent, and Beit Shammai is more mekel. Let's go back to our Mishnah. Am Rabbi Yochanan ben That's a machogit Beit Shammai and Beit Hillel. Uh, I hope that was clear. Am Rabbi Yochanan ben Nuri. Tawim kolamim, you're all wrong. Ela imesh arba amot mikar hakfanim lagader. If there's four, that's not a case, he says, of the aris. That is not the case at all. Rather, the case of the aris that we're talking about, the case, that, that case, in that case, where there's, where there's a gader and you want to plant, he says, if there's all you have to do when there's a case of an aris, it's not a field, it's not a vineyard, and all you have to do is measure the six fachim that you need. 
Rather, what is the case where they said four amot for Arvis? Ela im yesham arba amot miikar kfanim lagader, notin lo et avodato v'zoreat amotar. We'll go back to our picture. In this case, he says, look, the Aris case, the Aris case is something totally different. If I have, if the vines are four amot from the wall and I want to plant in between here, and there's four amma between the wall, then all you have to have six tzvachim from the gfanim, because remember, the gfanim in this case were only, are, are not a kerem, according to him, they're not a vineyard, and then I can plant as long as I distance them, distance them six tzvachim. That's what he means. Ele'im yesh, when they said arba amot, when we said arba amot for naris, what it means is, im yesham arba amot nikar gfanim la gader, if there's four amot from the gfanim to the gader, from the vines to the gader, then, you give it avodato, you give the amount of work, its space of six tfachim, so sorry, I'm you can plant between that and the wall. Vekamahi avodatan hagefen, how much is the avodah? Shisha tfachim l'chol ruach, six tfachim in every direction, that's what we just said. Rabbi Akiva Omer, Rabbi Akiva says, no, shlosha tfachim, only three tfachim. So in this case where you have your aris, in, in this case, according to this opinion, you could have, if the, if the row of vines, in this case, of your five vines, was four amot away from the wall, then all you have to do is a small, 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 tiny space of three tvachim according to Rabbi Akiva, and this area over here could be planted. Okay, if you have any comments or questions, please feel free as always to contact me at at arspolter at gmail.com, and we'll get dedicate our learning to the memory of my father, Rav Simcha Ben Yitzchak Kalman. Have a great day.